five. The storm that we've been talking about for the better part of a week is now here in southern Colorado. Today's been a bit of a warm day with many areas at or above the freezing mark, so there hasn't been a ton of accumulation just yet on the roadways, but I do think that will change. So we bring you this update here on Facebook and we'll have a complete newscast and weather report coming up at 530, so we'll hope you join us for that as well. Now we are on weather alert all weekend long, even through Monday morning, as I think that Monday morning commute will be quite rough across the Pikes Peak region through the gap up towards Teller County. And we are going to see limited travel conditions. I should say impacted travel conditions. You'll want to limit your travel due to periods of heavy snow beginning late tonight, continuing through Sunday. And as the storm winds up and intensifies and strengthens to our southeast, we're talking about strengthening wind gusts as well. So there could be whiteout conditions at times, poor visibility, blizzard like conditions. And if any of these warnings do get upgraded to blizzard warnings, we will let you know and keep our eye on the storm. Right now I see 30 to 45 mile per hour gust heading into the day on Sunday. Now for tonight, we will see snowfall with temperatures hovering near to a little below the freezing mark in the springs. Uh, this is this evening, of course, for Pueblo. It's that rain snow mix and here that's really going to cut into the accumulation factor. In fact, many areas in Pueblo just dealing with wet surface streets at this point, but that could change as we could pick up a few inches of snow as we make our way uh, into the day on Sunday. So the worst travel conditions lie ahead of us tonight through the overnight hours and into Sunday and Sunday evening. As the winds do intensify, we mentioned that we could be talking about blizzard conditions and this could impact travel in a big, big way. You know, we lose an hour of sleep tonight because of daylight saving time. So my best advice is to just sleep in, just enjoy the fire, maybe have a glass of wine tonight, wake up, enjoy the day on Sunday at home, stay off the roadways, let the plows do their thing because if they can get a good manage on the conditions, through the day on Sunday. That means the Monday morning commute could actually be manageable. I think I 25 and 70 could be highly impacted, especially north of the springs and out across the front ranges. We could be dealing with some shutdowns due to the fact that a lot of snow could fall in those areas. Now, right now in the springs, this is our live cam view from our rock room and studios, and we are pointing east. So these are the surface streets right near our area, but this is where I-25 would be, and we really can't make it out because visibility is so bad. So that's part of the storm that we're dealing with as well. Right now, the temperature is hovering right near 32 degrees, and the wind is picking up coming out of the north at about 14 miles per hour. Look in Pueblo. It's quite a different scene right now as we have rain showers in the area in the lower Arkansas River Valley. The river walk looks OK, but it's wet. If you look closely, you can see wet pavement in and around the river walk this evening where the temperature is 37. Now we have the poor visibility in Canyon City in the mountains around town and in town. We are near the freezing mark, but it looks to be rain or a rain snow mix and we're not seeing accumulation on the cars or on the roadways here, but if you look on the rooftops, you might see a little bit of snow, maybe on the awnings and some of the grassy surfaces as well. Trinidad, we've seen a little bit of snow today and there is more on the way tonight, so it looks like a wintry wonderland here. Can't make out Fisher's Peak that is covered in clouds and there's some snowfall likely on the top of that mountain right now. So as look at the satellite radar composite. Look at the heavy bands of snow from Fort Collins through Cheyenne, also getting some heavier snow out towards Denver, and we have one wave still moving across the Pikes Peak region, but generally south of that, it looks like some drier air is trying to work in, and I think what we'll see tonight is a little bit of a break between maybe 5, 6 o'clock and about 9, 10 o'clock. Behind that, we'll get some bigger bands of snow. Now at the surface, low pressure will develop tonight over southern Colorado, but really the driving force is this upper level low, which brought rain, snow, and hail to parts of California over the past couple of days. For us, we'll see snow, which will be heavy at times, strong north winds in the area, and again, travel likely to be impacted in a big way, especially north of Monument, where we could see near impossible travel at times. As for the wind, I think the modeling here is probably a little bit underdone in my opinion, but you can see the wind speeds generally ramping up as we'll see those wind gusts around 25, maybe 35 miles per hour. Uh, model shows a little bit of a dip. I'm not sure that's going to happen. I think the winds are going to stay pretty strong once they pick up tonight and could stay pretty gusty all the way through Sunday night. By the way, since we are on Facebook, 
If you are watching us live, if you have any questions, try to put them in there and I'll try to go through this. We do have a newscast at 530, but I'll try to get back to you. Uh, maybe it's a specific question about timing or snow totals where you live. I'll try to give you really that microclimate look and that deep dive into conditions in your neighborhoods. But let me show you the bigger picture here. This is the future cast. Today it's been pretty interesting with thunderstorms across the plains and there is a severe weather threat across uh, southern and central plains tonight. I could see some tornadoes in that part of the country for us. We're going to be on the back side of the low, so notice how the moisture still wraps around by around 10 o'clock. It's picking up and then look what happens on the back side. See how things start to rotate in this direction, generally north to south. That means we're on the back side of that low and that is by Sunday morning. So that's when you get to stronger north wind. See some of the darker uh, blues and yellows here, maybe just southeast of Monument towards Black Forest. That would be some really intense bands of snow. Snowfall rates could be one to two, one to three inches per hour, and that's going to continue through the afternoon. Pueblo likely gets above freezing, but I think with some of the colder air aloft, it's going to cool down that column, and we could see some snowfall into Pueblo heading into tomorrow, but not expecting as much down south as what we'll see up to the north. And this is pretty interesting as you look at this graphic. I remember looking at the GFS or the American model when I worked for Mike on Monday and that one picked up on this trend of not showing. I should say it was the European. I apologize. The European had dry conditions due to rain across the Southeast Plains. The GFS was showing snow. So it seemed like the European was the model of choice here. And this is how much additional snow could fall. 10 to 14 in Denver could see as much as 10 to maybe 15, 18 inches in Monument, a foot to maybe a foot and a half plus in Woodland Park. And then again, it's a sharp, gradient as you head south of the Palmer Divide, especially as the north wind picks up. That's sort of that snow eating mechanism. It dries out the lower levels, and that's why totals are showing this big range in the springs. I'm showing maybe four inches on the south side of town. Could be six to ten on the north side of town. One to three in Pueblo, two to five Canyon City. Also expecting some really good beneficial amounts of snowfall and precipitable water here up across the mountain areas. We need that moisture. It's still March, and we'd like to see a continuation of the season to delay the onset of the fire season later on. So let's break it down for you region by region. Got a little time here since we're on Facebook. I'm going again 14 to 22 in Castle Rock, 10 to 18 in Monument, 8 to 14 in Black Forest, and 12 to 20 in Woodland Park. This is a really cool graphic. I'm going to give props to Alex O'Brien. Maybe she's watching from home. I know she's geared up for tomorrow morning, but this is a snowfall amount probability graphic. So basically what we're saying is here, the chance of getting two inches of snow in the springs, additional two inches, is running right around 100%. What about four inches? It takes us to about 85 to 90%. Six inches, around 60%. And eight inches, that's going to be a little bit lower, around 35%. Again, that varies, though, region by region. So if you're on the west side of town, Manitou, you probably have a higher probability of getting some of those bigger numbers, north side of town as well. But if you're south or central, you might be on the lower end. Woodland Park, six inches, well, Looks like we'll get that around eight inches. I think it's running at about 90% if I remember correctly. 12 inches running at about 60% and 18 inches. That's all the way down at about 20%. All right, let's take a look at some other regions here. Again, snowfall accumulation going to be very low in Pueblo. Pueblo West, maybe two to four there. Two to five, Canyon City, seven to ten in Lake or Isabel area. And for Cuchara, will be around seven to ten. Trinidad, one to three. Additional snowfall. Looks like you've already seen a couple inches there, although we haven't seen snow reports from that area. Three to six, Aguilar, two to four out towards Weston. Let's look at this Colorado Springs seven day forecast. I'm going a four on the impact scale, and that means impacts are going to be far reaching and long lasting, especially for travels. We mentioned snow and wind Sunday with a high just above freezing. Now Monday we dry out with some sunshine expected, but it's going to be a slow morning commute. Another quick moving system, not looking at a lot of snowfall for now, maybe a few inches. That's why we have a one on the impact scale and then drier conditions of the warm up by next weekend for Pueblo. I think it will be snow as we make our way into Sunday, but there could be some rain mixed in as well. Also some wind. For Monday, we're up to 48 and then temperatures in the 40s through the midweek storm before we warm back up. You can see again, that's the seven day. I just left in the duplicate copy. So let's go to Canyon City. Here we'll see upper 30s with periods of snow and then warming up to the 40s with highs maybe up near 60, 65 by next weekend. And for Woodland Park, temperatures here only in the upper 20s. And I would say travel across Teller County strongly not advised over the next day, day and a half as we will see a lot of heavy snow again. We could see more than a foot in some parts of Teller County.